Hi, Bruce from Safari. And uh, look, we're in front of this LC79 here, Immaculate. And we're going to have a chat to uh, Rochelle and Caleb here in a minute. A good brew, but let's just have a look what we put in the back here. And we'll do a bit of a walk around on this because this has also got the digital switching, huge amount of power. Uh, all the coffee machines here <laughs> meet Rochelle and Caleb. Hi, Bruce. How are you today? Hi, yeah, Bruce. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, Rochelle, good. tell us what you're going to do with the good brew. Um, so our whole vision is to have really good coffee on the northern beaches in Sydney. Right. And totally off-grid. And totally off-grid? Mm. And when can people come and see you? We'll be end of October, early November. Around Avalon? Um, Avalon, yep, Newport, Mona Vale. Right, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And Caleb here? Why? Um, yeah, so we, we wanted a car that could stand out, I guess, in the crowd, um, but it was Rochelle's vision. And um, thankfully, we, we got some really good um, support. All Press is, is backing us with beans. So we feel that we've got one of the best coffees on the beach. And I know you're going to be fast at it as well. We talked about that at length. Speed, speed is everything. Speed, speed. So here I am holding the tablet. And this system here is, just have a look at this. The uh, And I'm going to just prop this up here. But this is uh, reading the Victron system. So we've got two batteries here. These are our new high performance ones. You saw them in one of the earlier coffee vans that we did. So these are together are 10,000 watt hours of lithium that we've got here. There's the battery voltage, there's the percentage. And this side of our display is replenishment. So right now it's night time. The solar is down to 11 volts. We've got no watts coming out of it at all. And Scotty's taking power from the 48 and putting it into the 12 volt side. And that uh, power is used for the lighting that we've got here that we'll show you in a minute. And, uh, and then we've got the coffee machine on here. So that's peering down here. We've got 4,400 pulsing in and out. And so we've got the whole Victron system in here. We do have a turbo up here. So for the uh, Victron experts, we've got the turbo up there, but no display. And we've got everything here uh, running on the can. And we're able to read everything in Victron and present it here. So, and then the lights that we've got here that you can see here are all controlled down here. So we've got a master light, yep, it's all gone out. We can turn that on. And then we go to the second display here, which is giving us all the detail on the lights. We've got the toolbox with the neon sign that's gonna be added at the back up here. Uh, we've got a, a button for that. And then we showed people the fuses. We go over here, it loads up any of the fuses that we've got to reset. You can see up here, reset the circuit. We've gone down this path now and we just go back and we just go back out of that. And that's giving the whole uh, display that we've got here. And uh, I've got to say that that is then going to be added into the front of the vehicle. So I'm just gonna walk forward. And I've just put this up in the front of the vehicle. So look, here we are on the LC79. It's sitting up there. It's the standard cutout that we've got there. We've got the speaker system running here. We're running Spotify through this as well. So this has got the whole navigation system. So if I touch this, and we're up here ready to navigate. There we are, ready to go off. Uh, we have the HEMA maps up here, where to. And so if we go up here, go to HEMA, then I'll just go all categories here. We're getting the hang of this now. And we come down here to, uh, to camping grounds, bush camping, select bush camping, comes up straight away. And we even have TripAdvisor here. So if you're in the city and uh, you want to go off and get the restaurant, it's all there. And then we've got the Fusion Sound that's connected here, and we've got the iPhone connected into here on the Fusion Sound. I won't turn that on. And then we've got the digital switching, which is the last thing that we've got over here. So um, the we can also add to this the IP camera. So we could have a full reversing camera coming up into here, which we haven't set up in here. Um, but it looks quite slick in there. And then the important thing is when you're driving, the whole digital controls, everything about the system in the back is going to appear on the screen here in the front. So you can see everything that's going on. You can control all the lights. We've even got the front spotlights, rock lights, um, everything on it. So you can see that went to negative 2000 watts on the startup. And now we're producing about 900 watts coming in. We're ramping up the starter battery. And uh, let's just go up to a high idle if we can. Just take it up here a little bit. Putting in there about 1800 watts, 1900 watts, that's going into the system. You have to say, how good is that? 